We knew that with relationships and vibes which are coming from the, the Burnley Wood group, that people in Burnley Wood had real aspirations for the community. And we wanted to help them realise those aspirations. So we commissioned Well North to help us do that. You could cut my wrist and I bleed Burnleywood. You all, we all bleed Burnleywood, don't we? That is really nice adults and I like my school. Nursery facilities are brilliant, school facilities are brilliant. And, and it's a good community. Yeah, everyone gets on with each other, yeah, yeah. Um, it was more like a friendly atmosphere in the shops. Uh, everybody knew uh, everybody else. Uh, it's got great potential, but it's the forgotten area. It's got a community, and that's all that matters. When people refer to Burnley Wood, they tend to refer to just what they call the grid, which is Holland Grieve Road, Dahl Street, Reed Street, Parkinson Street and Branch Road. Most of these buildings were built on the backs of the cotton trade. They were mill workers' cottages and homes. So you get you get the full mix here. You get the the, the very expensive large houses, which were the mill managers, and the juxtaposed to them with the mill workers' houses, the terraced ones. These streets used to be full of life. Uh, everybody knew everybody. Now, people go in the front doors, they don't speak to people. Some of the housing which is left, the old housing is, uh, some of it is derelict. Boarded up, for sale by auction, Boarded up, boarded up. Another boarded out property. That's been empty about eight years. That's nine properties in two blocks that are boarded up, three up for rental and one up for sale by auction. Wonders of the back street. It's just sad to see the amount of rubbish up and down back streets because this is what people see when they're driving around and they think what a filthy horrible place. And because on face value it does look like that, the people that live here don't end up having pride in the area and nothing gets done. It's about two months since that we're done. It doesn't look very nice every time we open the curtains. It's not, it's not really it's a just, lower, it's it? just full of pigeons all the time. There's a lot of deprivation within the area, uh, drug related, alcohol. Probably that there's not a lot of stuff to do around here. You have to make like stuff up yourself to do. Not, not very pretty. Right. All rubbish all over the floors down there. Everyone knows everyone, yeah, well they did do, until them new houses were built like that. That's kind of set, broke up community a little bit, but... It's almost a microcosm of the country, perhaps, north-south divide, if you like. 
I don't think it's an intentional divide, to be honest. We've got a, a slight divide again with the new build and the old terraces. Um, old terraces obviously because they lost some of their parents' houses and things like that. And what you used to find is there were generations upon generations of people of the same family living two or three doors away from each other. The old houses which we, we knew are traditionally here, uh, they have issues in the same way the new houses have issues too. But the thing is, if you start dividing them completely, that is where we lose out. It is a very resilient group of people who have been through very tough times with very little to show off. They didn't have huge houses or planes or cars, but they had something to be as a community, isn't it? That, that spirit was very strong. The people I do meet do seem friendly. Across the road you've got St Stephen's Church, which is now becoming a hub again for everyone. The thing is, what we need to be doing is to tap in to what people are actually wanting. I'll make the slides more slippery and then people can go faster. Nobody has any money, nobody can get jobs. It's people getting involved. Serious heart, yeah. And there's some dedicated people out there that want to continue the work that some areas aren't lucky enough to have. It's obvious that communities are far more than buildings. It's the people that make the communities. And you know what? Burnley Wood is a really great community. I do hope the immersion event that uh, was undertaken a few months or so ago and the actions which came from it do help the community of Burnley Wood to realise their aspirations. And I would really hope that the CCG and wider public sector do work more to support their communities in this way. I know that we can learn a lot from working with Burnley Wood Can and we will continue to do that. The immersion event by Well North brought together all the partners who had a lot of activities going on in Burnley Wood. It was a question of linking all the activities together. We want to try something new, so we've chosen this back street to try and make a pilot out of it, hoping that we can make some changes on here that can be replicated across Burnley Wood improving the cleanliness of the backyards, putting up back gates where there aren't any, improving the size of the walls and keeping the back streets clean. We're going to look at putting some wave lighting up through some funding through the Police and Crime Commissioner so that there's no shadows on the back street and you can't hide and do things in the shadows that you shouldn't be doing. To be, to be incorporated with the events team would be a, a great asset because this as a centre is the key pin of the area and as far as we're concerned we'll help anyone as much as we can and it's trying to bring the new residents in with the existing established residents and by putting activities on that'll help form and gel both communities together. Uh, we've now had uh, fantastic news from the Canal and River Trust that they've now been given full funding to develop the site behind me um, to create a visitor centre and cafe and also a um, conference centre. Uh, we're trying to, as uh, the Burnley Wood Camp, to get involved at grassroots level um, so we can generate interest within the local community and hopefully gain some employment for people. All these organisations had their own skill sets. The question was linking up together, which was what Well North did. 